All right, hello. I had a couple of boxes come today, as you can uh, see over here. And I'm going to take a look and see what's inside of them, or one of them. And let me just move uh, my microphone a little bit out of the way. It's kind of uh, getting in the way of the camera a little bit. And we'll give this a little slice. That's been a bit of a problem. I'm using a gimbal, so I've only got one hand uh, free right now today. So, let's swing it around. Go again on this side. So, a bit of like stabby here. Oops. That should do it. And this is excellent Compass Games from Dawn's Early Light. I uh, was a bit on the fence about this one at first. I wasn't too sure if it would be something I wanted to uh, pick up or not. I uh, am a bit interested in the War of 1812, being Canadian, and uh, you know there are not that many games about that. So I uh, grabbed this one when it did come available, and let's uh, take a look, see what's inside here. I'm really getting into Compass games as well. Um, they, uh, I've got like three of their games right now, and uh, their, their production quality is getting a whole lot better. So on the outside corner, or on the outside of the box, we've got some nice art. And on the back, we have our uh, description and map. Our scale, suitability and players, yeah, example of the counters. So let's go ahead and slice this puppy open. There was not much slicing then. That's a bit better. not that easy to do with one hand. All right, so let's take a look. All right, so we have cards. Interesting way to pack cards. I've never seen them packed like this before. And this double kind of uh, you know, container here, packaging here. Neat. Uh, they look to be fairly simple card art. I'll pop those open in a bit. Our dice. Uh, there are four. Two red, two blue. Our rule book, which is actually fairly short, it's 23 pages, including what well, looks like uh, definitions and stuff and some notes. So we'll take a look here. Standard stuff, table of contents, order of play. It's a very good quality. Uh, Compass is really up the quality here. It's a nice glossy book. Set up, 
pretty good ordering, good examples, large print, easy to read, not hard to see at all. It looks actually this looks to be one of their better designed rule books. I uh kinda like this a lot. Lots of examples, large, large examples here. Nice. Quite good. Actually, one one thing that did finally get me to cave in and kind of go for this was uh, it does include the uh, you know eastern coast of Canada. I, I grew up in the uh, Atlantic provinces, and it's nice to see uh, those get represented sometimes in games. So there we go. Good rule book. Player aid. We've got a couple of them double-sided with a nice rules reference. Good large print, actually. And very simple one. This looks like it's not that hard of a game. And then we get into our, our counters, our jits, our tokens. These are very large. Um, these are a step up from a uh, standard from Compass. They're pretty much like uh, the, the, the new ones GMT has been doing recently. Not as thick as them, though but quite big. They're quite thick. Good heavy card stock here with them. So we have some for uh, you know, the British, the uh, natives, our First Nations as they're known in Canada. Forts and squadrons. There was a lot of naval in 1812 in that conflict. Uh, a lot of blank counters, and uh, some recruits. Uh, yes, Napoleon. This was an offshoot of the Napoleonic Wars. And the map. It is quite a big-looking mounted maps. I like when Compass Games does mounted maps. I'm happy that they are uh, getting into doing the mounted maps. We've got nice Maritimes here, Halifax and Lower Canada. The eastern coast, the eastern seaboard here. And uh, open it up and see what we've got a bit more of. That's a little better. Clear off the table. So, we go down. We have Spanish Florida. Uh, the public opinion. A turn track or scoreboard track up at the top. Turn track, year track, locations on the map, the blue are the US, uh, the red are the, the British and Canadians, and the green are the uh, First Nations, Native Americans. And our naval theater, the British Navy, blockade, New Orleans, I might have to listen with that to a uh, Johnny Horton, when you're playing this one, get some uh, you know, Battle of New Orleans action going here. Nice. That's a great looking board. Let's take a look at some of these cards. Let's see what we've got here with them. like 1812. You have standard event cards, 
a year, score VP, and an event at the back. Very nice art. They don't seem to be uh, point-based, like uh, action points or anything. They actually seem to be more event-based with these cards, which is a bit surprising being a CDG. Maybe it's not as much as a CDG as I thought it was going to be. Could be uh, similar to, I'm not sure, but there we go, 1812, 1814, and that is it. I can't wait to get to th this to the table. The only other um, 1812 game I've tried is Mr. Madison's War, which was uh, pretty decent, kind of swingy, well, bizarrely swingy, but um, this, the map is gorgeous. The cards are... Nice, good quality. A little thinnish, but not, not, not horrible. I've seen much worse. The board is great. The rule book is great. The uh, counters look great. So uh, Compass came through on uh, the production quality of this. It's a great looking game. Let's see how it plays. And uh, thank you for watching. And uh, you know, stay tuned. Hopefully we'll uh, get some more stuff up. And uh, take care, everybody. Goodbye.